Hey, hey, it's Pika going on episode 66 tonight. So, it's Wednesday night. And I have a Periscope tomorrow morning. And as usual, I have no idea what I'm going to say. Oh my god. I swear to god. I talk a lot. All day, every day. And I usually have no idea what I'm going to talk about. Fuck it, it'll come to me. I'm sure it will. Alright. So, let's see. Uh, today was another day at work. Dropped baby girl off at school, went to work. Um, lucky I didn't have any transcription to do. I'm so glad. Really, really, really grateful I didn't have to do that. Um, worked on a bunch of feedback forms and stuff. Um, we are working with a new app. It's new to us, obviously. It's not brand new. It's new to us. It's called Trello. And it's actually kind of cool because it helps you um, project manage in a way. Still working out the kinks, not sure if it works yet or not, but you know, just working it out. Trying out different aspects of it, trying to, you know, put in checklists of things we need to do and like archive them as soon as they're done or add comments or adjust them or whatever. And the next thing I need to know is to figure out how to do push notifications on this thing so the whole group knows what's going on. You know, um, if something there's a due date or due, you know, a time due on it or whatever, then it gives you an email saying, hey, hey, this is coming up, don't forget. So, pretty damn awesome, I think. Um, finished work, came home, stopped at the grocery store because I needed to get milk um, and a couple other things. And I, I had every intention of making um, making something for dinner. And then I ended up doing, you know, cop out and did something really simple. I did um, mee goreng, fried noodles. And that was still really good. I was happy. She's happy. She's asleep now. So we're good to go. Um, been talking to a lot of people, like I mentioned. Um, talked to my cousin for about three and a half hours, at which point I actually fell asleep and got back up and still con- continued talking. It was really stupid. Um, but we had a really great conversation. We covered a variety of topics. We covered a lot of, you know, existential questions, some relationship questions. And... Oh my God, I'm sorry. I've been nothing but yawning, right? Oh, so stupid. Anyway, we covered um, a lot of relationship questions. And for the most part, I feel like people tend to gravitate toward me about relationship questions as well. And it's been a recurring theme lately. I have um, I have a guest, not really a guest, a friend of mine who is actually, um, she was a concierge at the Grand Hyatt when I was working there. And she had um, a couple of issues with work and it, it basically comes down to your relationships and um, how you see things, your your perspective basically um, of what's going on. So I uh, talked to her a little bit today, caught up with her and she's at a crossroads, she's not sure what she wants to do and she from my point of view has a couple things she needs to work out so she needs to figure out if she can find a way to provide herself a safety net so she doesn't have to freak out about what's going on over and over again. She didn't have to sit there and be like, oh my God, this is happening, oh my God, this is happening, I'm, not, I'm, I'm unprepared. At some point, you need to sit there and be like, all right, cool, this is coming, obviously. I don't know when, but I need to start being prepared. So what do I need to do to be prepared? So those are the things you need to ask, ask yourself, right? So I had to give her that perspective. Um, talk to my cousin, like I said. She is in university in Melbourne, and... Um, very, very brilliant girl. Lots and lots of talent. She keeps me on my toes. Um, she's she's one of those cousins I can always ask to come over and hang out. And we can actually do just dumb shit all day long and still enjoy the hell out of each other's company and, and find value in each other's existence, basically. It's pretty damn cool. So um, shout out to her out there. And um, we talked about the whole gamut of stuff, actually. We talked about the whole range of human emotions, the things that we've been going through, I've been going through, she's been going through. It was kind of like a very mutual conversation was really awesome actually but once again there was a particular relationship that she's been muddling over for a while now and she realized that you know what I just don't think I'm the same level as them so I challenged her to change her perspective a little bit and think about it like you know it's not a bad thing or a good thing to be in a different place than somebody else obviously sometimes you know you have you find people that come up and join you along your journey and you'll walk together for a little bit and at some point Maybe they stopped to pick the roses or something. Maybe they stopped to, I don't know, pick a wedge. It could be anything. They could stop at some point along the journey that they have been sharing the road with you for a little bit. And they find that, you know what, I can't take any more 
t-shirts and jeans I'm going to go change my clothes or it might be that you know I'm tired of the same group of friends I need to level up a little bit and they might go off and go do that so you can never really judge what goes on or how it goes on you kind of need to take a step back to increase or improve your perspective yes we are very subjective creatures yes everything comes from our point of view yes it's hard for us to put ourselves in somebody else's shoes but you know what it's actually super worth it because that's where compassion comes from that's what I've been talking about right if you were trying to get over something you start with compassion you start with gratefulness you start with forgiveness like any one of those three things will lead you down a path where you finally kind of come to grips with whatever's going on and realize that there are no good or bad things simply things simply situations simply events that happen and then depending on how you feel super subjective you kind of attach a label to that being bad or good or weird or nonsensical there are actually a lot more nonsensical and um weird things that happened in conversations with me and uh, this particular cousin then I'd like to admit but you know what we fucking laugh a lot so I could care less we don't judge each other it's really pretty cool so yeah um, I do want to say that it's not always about conflict it's not always about something happens so you need to change your perspective sometimes it's just that you know you need to shift your focus from the details to the bigger picture it could be that you know on the micro you see everything all day long and you feel like you know you're running you're running you're running you're pushing you're pushing you're pushing but on the macro nothing is moving and that may be cause for concern I don't know it depends but sometimes you need to find a way to change your perspective um, I will tell you this for a long time I was in a relationship obviously I was married to baby girl's dad um, we were almost married for like eight years or together and married together for eight years married for like I don't know five six something like that anyway so we were together quite a long time I raised his kids and they were everything to me and um, eventually things changed as they always do this only thing this only thing that's constant in this world things change um, obviously he's not around me all the time he has to go to work and he has influences at work and he has people he talks to outside of work he has people he talks to outside of me he was running you know a couple of the hustles on the side like you know flipping cars and stuff like that so he had people he had to talk to to get stuff that that stuff sorted out for me my whole world my all my influences right my whole world consisted of the three kids the house and the husband there was nothing else. I mean, yeah, I went to work and came back. We didn't talk about nothing else but the production line. We didn't talk about, you know, how's your life going? How's your husband? How's it? We don't talk like that. We just didn't have time to talk like that. And that's probably a good thing. That means there's less people in my business. But I will say this. The way I thought about the world and how things should be changed when I had my own child. The way I thought about the role of a man and a woman in a relationship changed on like a weekly basis based on his actions based on my actions based on his reactions I mean your perspective changes all the time but once I had Gaia my perspective changed for real like everything swung around and it became okay how do I protect this little bundle of joy how do I make sure that she's always taken care of how do I make sure that nothing gets to her and nothing disturbs her peace how do I make sure that I keep a smile on her face how do I make sure that even as she gets older I have become of such value that no matter where she goes what she does who she's around she will still enjoy my company she will still feel like I'm home she will still feel like you know my mom is my safety net. I can go to her for anything I don't have to go to an outside source so my perspective changed as well these influences help you to get to where you need to be obviously your soul is reaching for something at every, any point in time um, we are nothing but pure energy and we tend to forget that a lot of times it's it's helpful to go through these ups and downs these little roller coaster um, pieces you know of life where it's like it was fine and then suddenly something happened something changed everything was thrown up in the air and then we were just left to see you know what falls first basically what hits the ground first or what sticks. It's kind of like throwing spaghetti on the wall to see if it sticks, right? You can try to see if it's cooked through all the way. And and that's it's it's like that with us, you know, on a human level. We go along life for a little while, we think we have it all figured out. Something happens, we trip on something, fall flat on our face, and then suddenly it's like, 
Do you look at where you trip? Do you look at, you know, your feet? Do you look to see if anyone's watching you? Or do you realize, damn, I tripped. How do I make sure I don't trip? What was I doing that, was, that had me so distracted that I didn't even see whatever it was that tripped me? It's all about perspective. Um, one of those quotes that I, super, I really, really love is from Big Hero 6, and he said, you know, sometimes you gotta get a, you got to get a little perspective. you got to change the way you see things. Use that big brain and think your way out of this. And I like that because, yeah, something as simple as changing the angle at which you look at something. Something as simple as using a magnifying glass to see what's really going on um, rather than just looking at it from the whole. Sometimes it's speaking to someone to get, to, to gain, how do I put this, huh? To accelerate your learning and use their experiences in conjunction with your own to change the way you see things. Sometimes we get stuck in our own ways. Sometimes we get stuck in you know, certain patterns where you're like, oh yeah, this happened, so obviously this is going to happen next. But uh, most times as you evolve, you realize that it's not going to happen the same way twice. You can't step in the same river twice. You're not the same person five minutes ago that you were, and the river is constantly changing. That's not the same either. So it's, it's never possible to step in the rain, same river twice. So just like with that, as you talk to people, as you watch things, as you listen to music, all the different various stimuli actually rub you a certain way. Sometimes you listen to some music and it seems very powerful and it seems like everything in that, in that song has a message for you. Like all the lyrics in that song really spoke to you on some level. Um, for me, a lot of times it was Linkin Park. And the way he talked about he was numb or, you know, um, any, any one of those songs actually, it was real angst, it was really like, you know, dark if you actually really look at it and listen to the music. But for the most part, it helped me. It helped me put words to, to what I was going through. It helped me basically vocalize any emotion that I was going through at the time when I was a teenager. So once you vocalize it, once you see it from someone else's point of view, suddenly your, your focus tends to shift. Suddenly the way you see the problem is different. And that's what you want. You don't want to look at this pro the problem the same way and think, okay, well, this is the only way it could be. I'm telling you, with the law of attraction and the universe working together for you, it's not against you, it's for you, you really need to be careful of the things you think. Now, it may be a situation where, like, you know, you're sick and tired of your job, you don't want to go there anymore, you're ready to quit. And you feel like, all right, well, the next thing that I need to do is find another job, but I don't want to find another job because that's what I did the last time, and here I am stuck in a job I don't like. I don't want to jump from one to the other without really doing some work and doing some digging. So you need to open yourself up to limitless possibilities because there are one of a million ways this scenario could go. You could lose your job. You could be fired. You could walk out in a staged protest with a bunch of friends who robbed you up. You could, um, you could quit and stay home for a little bit while you figure it out. That way you have, you've given yourself time to go and look for the right solution, the right next step before you just go jump headlong into another job right away. There are so many options. These are the ones that I can think of right now in my like half-sleep state. <laughs> what you don't understand is the, the, the universe is very creative. For you to pinpoint how you want something to work is to say that you don't trust the universe to know best. The universe knows best. It has your best interest at heart. It's working with your feelings. Just like I say, don't focus on the bad stuff. Don't focus on the stuff you don't want. That's basically praying for what you don't want. That's worry. That's, that's useless. But the more attention you give it, the more energy you give it, somehow or another, that shit just comes to pass, don't it? You can't limit the universe. You can't. It's almost like saying white. White is... Um, White is supposedly the ab absence of color, whereas black is all colors at the same time. But either way, when you look at it sometimes, depending on the light, you tend to see all the other colors in there. Now, is that something you could have defined for yourself if you hadn't seen it for yourself? Is a rainbow something you could say, yes, this will happen this way? Can you say that for sure? Because there's so many reasons why a rainbow could be created. Stop limiting your life. Stop those limiting thoughts saying that, you know, the only way I can be a millionaire is if I quit my job, make a million dollars, um, and then stay home and do nothing in that order. If you put it in that order, that's not going to help. You're not going to get there. 
open it up a little bit. Just be like, you know what? I want to be a millionaire or I want to do what I love and make this amount of money by this time. And then step back and watch it work. You need to define what it is you want very carefully. Kind of like, you know, Jeannie from Aladdin. You tell him very carefully what you want and don't make it some general thing and then be mad at what comes. Be specific as much as you can. I'm going to go back and tell you this again. Y'all know I switched jobs in the middle of this whole podcast, right? And I was able to find a job in exactly the, the, the field that I needed next. Yes, I was still in education. Yes, I'm doing sales and marketing. But what aspect of sales and marketing? I'm doing social media marketing. I prayed for a job that would give me the next skill set that I needed in my life. And here it is in my lap. No, I'm not getting the kind of money I was making before. I'm getting a thousand bucks less. No, I don't have the hours that I want. I would love to have office hours and be home at a decent time and be off on the weekends because then I could spend time with my daughter. But you know what? I got something else. I got five days a week, okay? I work Saturday and Sunday, but they're not full days on Saturday and Sunday. I have two days off during the week, which is actually pretty perfect because I remember enjoying having days off during the week. And now that baby grows in school, that means I actually get days off where I'm not entertaining anyone else. I can stay home and sleep all day if I really wanted to. That's my day off. So sometimes when you don't dream too hard and you don't get too specific, you get what you need. Not necessarily what you want, but what you need. And I needed a job where I could actually, you know, have days off or whatever that didn't coincide with her days off, that I was safe enough to bring her with me to work on her days off. And I still had, you know, the kind of skill set that I wanted to be, you know, in the beginning. But I wasn't specific. The things I did not, I could not negotiate on. How far away from home? Okay, that's something I could not negotiate on. The hours needed to be about office hours. And they are, for the most part. I don't have to go into work until 10, and I get off by 6, which is fine. And it couldn't be too far away from where she goes to school, because otherwise I need to rush at 6 to go get her before the center closes down at 7. Those are things I cannot negotiate with. Mm -hmm. I can deal with a little bit less money. I've done it before. It's not a big deal. It, it will be a stretch, but I can do it. I've done it before. So things like that. Sometimes you need the perspective. And I'm a big fan of random. I'm a really big fan of random. I like tarot. I like movies. I like music. You know this stuff about me. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to keep telling you. But sometimes when you go about your life, you go about you know meeting people, talking to people, interacting, having new experiences... Sometimes lightning strikes. Sometimes something someone says, the way they say it kind of just hits you. And you're like, shh, you know what? I understand now. <laughs> and as random as that is, it's so important. It's so important. We need each other. We're all connected for a reason. We crave connection for a reason. We need each other. Go get a new perspective. Go learn from someone. Everyone has a unique experience. Everyone has a unique skill set. Go learn from them. Change your perspective. Change it and then make your decision. I don't know what else I can say about this. I hope I made sense. It's all about perspective. The way you see things. If you have the ability to step into someone else's shoes and really take on that role, almost like an actor, and feel what they might feel, and go through, like in your mind, a whole day of what that person will go through and then realize the stumbling blocks, the hurdles that they face. It would change the way you treat each other. Seriously, what we need to be is kind, compassionate, forgiving, gracious. Let's bring back those traits. Perspective can do that for you. It really can. I am in a situation right now where a six-year-old changes my perspective every day. The things she can advise you on, freaking amazing. It's like she's been listening to me coaching people for a long time and she knows exactly what I'm going to say because she goes spit it out exactly the way I say it. <laughs> maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing. Not sure yet. For now, I'm going to take it. But what I really want you to know is having her changed my life. Having her reminded me that there were so many things to marvel at in the world. Having her reminded me that, you know what? 
There is nothing more important than love. There is nothing more important than speaking to people, being kind, serving others. Nothing more important than that. For Gary Vaynerchuk to write something called the thank you economy. Okay? For Simon Sinek to talk about leadership, Ashley Zahabian, all these people. It's not new information. It's not that you don't know these things are important. It's what you choose to focus on. It's your perspective at the moment. The media has changed everything. It's very skewed and distorted. It's not what the reality is. It's what they want you to focus on right now. And even that is its own perspective. It's kind of like, you know, circus mirrors. Everything's distorted. But you know, based on how you feel, you know what's right and what's wrong. For you, there's a saying that What's normal to the spider is chaos to the fly. Or in simpler terms, one man's meat is another man's poison. So what does not rub you right, the right way, then it's not meant for you, let it go. If it really, like, you know, vibrates on the same level that you do, you suddenly feel lit up and expansive and full of hope and opportunity and, and ready to build and just fired up. Those are the things that's meant for you. Tadashi in Big Hero 6 also said, look past the things you don't need. Look past them. First of all, you've got to decide what you do and don't need. You've got to be real honest with yourself. You have friendships out there that are not serving you, but they will drain you every chance they get. You have people out there that would rather do everything than support you. <laughs> no matter what you do, no matter who you are, they will never support you. And that's okay. Hopefully those will be those people that because they said no, you know, fuck it, do it anyway and put it in their face later. It's all about perspective. It really is. How do you see things? If you see yourself as a victim, I'm sorry to tell you, your, your problems will never go away. As a victim, that means life happens to you. You have no control over the things that happen to you. And if you have no control, guess what? You don't have the power to solve that shit. If you're going to blame the rest of the world for your lot in life, you don't have the power to change that shit. I hope you heard me. I really hope you heard me. Victim mentality sucks. It's a bottomless pit. It's almost like quicksand. You just sink deeper and deeper and deeper. And you pull everyone you can with it. Because why? Misery loves company. But if you suddenly realize, you know what? I don't have to think this way. I don't have to feel this way about it. There is no right or wrong. There is no good or bad. It's just stuff. And then how we feel about that stuff is how we label it. Get you some perspective. Stretch your mind. Explore a little bit. You can't go wrong. All right. I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for listening. Bye.